Hello everyone. This is a quick uh, quick talk on how to make yourself a workbench if you're a DIY triple U hobbyist. Now I have pulled uh, downloaded a couple of videos from the internet and taken uh, have taken a couple of snapshots. I'll be going through the snapshots to tell you which are good and which are bad practices. Now what you see here is a standard workbench. It is uh, this person designed his workbench in, in an L shaped bench. I particularly like his ideas that the computer is on one side and on the at just another side he has this anti-static mat which uh, which is used to do sensitive works in electronics that is very handy and I, I like this table lamp very much because this long extended table lamp and it has a magnifying glass within it it gives you a clear view of what you're working on and your soldering tools your multimeter are rightfully stacked at the right hand side of your workbench and there is a good leg clearance uh, down below you need that if you want to be comfortable during your work uh, working hours heavy machinery which you do not need frequently are at the corner of the table and outside on the shelf and uh, up over here you see his oscilloscopes and other digital instruments which are not frequently used but uh, you need them handy and ready when you need them because they are heavy you cannot move them now and then so it's better to put them somewhere permanently ok there is another view of it now as I said the, the soldering tools the multimeter are better to be at the, at the right hand side for a right handed person it gives you a better access and notice that there are few power outlets on the wall the, when you are working on electronics this is very much handy and you, you want that in your workbench uh, stacking electronics and other uh, materials you need this kind of box if you don't have this box it's quite hard to manage your stuff the, his oscilloscope and notice what he has done here below the his computer he has made a storage space but he did not want his storage space because when you will be working for long hours you want to be very comfortable and yours, you will need, need a lot of amount of surface area and clear spaces so you do not want this stuff in your workbench. Uh, I, I th what you need more in your lab or uh, workspace that you you need a large amount of space to store your materials. If you have drawers, it's easier to maintain and keep track of stuffs. Uh, this kind of shelf does it too but if you don't have this um, if you don't require such big spaces I would suggest to avoid it and go for this kind of boxes these small flat boxes are ideal to keep, store tiny ices and uh, things which are easy to get uh, loose what he has done over here storing his cables is quite amazing although in practice we do not need such a variety of work uh, wires because we only use uh, cat5 cables in our prototyping and wiring but if we have variety of wires if you need to work on uh, different systems different loads that is quite handy but not always necessary now these are the boxes i'm talking about these long stacks of small boxes are very handy you can put uh, small stickers to level what, what you have on in which drawer it, it will be very useful once you start a lab in full swing uh, I don't know what this, box, uh, this board is called but apparently this is a metal sheet uh, s screwed together uh, st screwed on the wall fantastic way of organizing your tools as you can see the all this your screwdrivers and small few f small biomes uh, 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 small, small jars along with your scissors cutting tools uh, soldering equipment are all stored right in front of you in, in a very very nice way small boxes to organize your materials readily available at your right hand side so you do not need to walk um, you do not need to travel far distances when you are working and power outlet you will need power outlet in front of a bench 
because you will have multiple signal generators, oscilloscopes and what not so you will need them and, and make sure they have fuses because accidents might occur at any time so if, if, we, if you make some mistakes the better your house must be safe uh, okay this is a small uh, assembly uh, table what I like very much about this bench is the way he has arranged lighting now sufficient amount of light is very very important when you're working on small devices what he has done over here he has fitted a tube light just beneath this shelf which gives him a bright workspace even though this room has got no windows and, and doors the soldering iron is on the right and he has, uh, he has got another small table lamp which, which, which will be required for high intensity works which is right in front of him and over here he has a fan, a small DC fan which is used to blow away the fumes produced by the tox uh, which is blow away the toxic fumes which is produced when soldering ok here's a close up of his light he has shown it in his video uh, these are just snapshots and this is the actual light which is fitted and just under the shelf alright now uh, his w way of hanging and organizing wires are fantastic because in a lab you'll often find yourself with long f wires and cables and it's very hectic to manage all of them so if you have somewhere to hang them in an organized fashion then it's very very convenient and that's about it now th some, these images are very d these images are very much low quality because I downloaded them in 3GB format. Now uh, if you want to have a clearer view or a better view, of course you can head on to the next videos, which uh, in which we, you'll see that uh, it's these individual persons are describing how they have made the lab and why they have done it. And uh, this is this was just a quick overview. Thank you.